Hi guys, today I've got a video that I have written a script for and as you can see in the title it's um, kind of opening up the discussion about Art Block and kind of a response to Bailey J's recent sort of kind of controversial video about Art Block and whether it exists or not and I'd kind of like to open up the discussion on my own channel, see what you guys think and sort of give my whole perspective on the thing. Um, what I'd like to approach is the subject of varying types of what people would call art block and to talk about the effects of Bailey's words and give my opinion on her video in general. And the reason I wrote a script for this is because I wanted to make sure that every point that I wanted to make was definitely made. Um, I probably still missed some things out, but we'll see. Um, first, I want to say that I can see why people didn't like Bailey's video, and in her defence, I feel Bailey's video is very much targeted at a very certain type of artist, not a hobbyist or a student, or the sort of general, you know, consensus of artists in general, but um, someone more along the lines of an aspiring or already professional artist who wants to work freelance or studio base. Um, in regards to her use of language and tone, I guess the reason I wasn't affected by it so much is because my own university tutors spoke to me in much worse ways and even friends and family have spoken to me in much worse ways and from telling me that I'll never make it, that my art is bad, giving me odd looks for mentioning art directions I want to take, arguing with me in class, grading me lower because their opinion was so low on the quality of my work and you name it it was unprofessional and it crossed over into personal far too many times and that's why I didn't find Bailey's words so abrasive because I've had to hear much worse and much more aimed at me personally not just my art. So if we move on to the subject of art block I'd also like to mention that um, I am a mental health victim myself and to sort of cover all the bases before someone in inevitably tries to undermine me or anyone else in the comment section, I won't tolerate that whatsoever. I have bipolar disorder, OCD and anxiety disorder. And that means, um, and bipolar itself means that I have severe and uncontrollable mood swings that range from mania to suicidal depression. And I am probably going to be on medication for the rest of my life. And that is something that I am coming to terms with this year in particular. For those wondering about these disorders, I'll have some links in the description below. If you feel like you or anyone else in your life might be exhibiting similar things to these disorders or other disorders, and you think that they or you yourself would need help, please don't feel like you can't talk to people at any time. There's always someone who will listen and someone who cares. And I want you guys to know that. <laughs> um, now, on the subject of being blocked from doing art, art block is a term that I personally have not used seriously for a long time. I have come to realise in myself what constitutes a mental block and what is me being lazy or uninspired. I am of a similar opinion that art block doesn't exist because if you are actually being blocked, there is usually something else influencing it, such as depression, anxiety or another mental health problem. These are all valid reasons to not want to draw, but is it truly an art block in that case? Or is it something that your mental health is blocking, which is something you you can't really help. You can't change that. Accounting for deaths and bad events happening in your life, that is also a perfectly good reason to not want to work or draw. You would take time off school or work for such similar things, so art is perfectly fine to put to one side in that case. I saw a lot of people saying that they were uninspired, unmotivated or frustrated with their own work and not because of mental health or similar issues and in my opinion that's not art block either. For aspiring and professional artists our clients and bosses do not wait around for us to become inspired. So if you're a hobbyist or a younger artist that's fine, be lazy, you don't owe anyone anything and you don't have to be a machine but please don't blame your lack of inspiration on something as lazily written off as art block. Just be honest and say I don't want to draw today. People will accept that and they will appreciate your honesty rather than you trying to put the blame on something else. Frustration with your work is another thing that can stop you working. In my opinion, this is probably the closest thing to art block that there is. Being inspired, motivated and full of ideas, but for some reason your hands turn to noodles and you can't draw as well as you did the day before. These things happen and very frequently, but I still don't prefer, personally refer to that as art block. I just simply say, you know what? I'm not great at drawing today. I'm sorry. And I keep trying because 
how I see my work is so different to how others do. Now, there's another subject I want to talk about, which is burnout. And burning out is similar to frustration in which you work and work and work and work to the point you physically can't keep going. And this can range from a day of exhaustion from working your butt off the day before, or it can be a lot more serious. And I had a burnout for two years. It was painful. I hated doing art and it was the result of such a bad time in my life, but I did still keep drawing and I pushed through it. So even burnout wasn't blocking me from doing art. Instead, it was blocking me from enjoying art, which ties back into my mental health struggles with my art. So I guess what I'm trying to say is art block can be such a lazy term. If you want to draw, draw. If you don't, you don't. Don't pass off your laziness onto a term that other people might use to kind of cover up something a bit more sensitive, such as a mental health block. It could be someone's way of saying, I have art block because I don't want to talk about my depression. And that's fine. You know, people are entitled to use words the way they want to. But when you start being lazy and using that as an excuse to just laze around, why don't you just be honest with yourself? Because people will appreciate that so much more. At the end of the day, those who choose to become professional artists will always need to push harder and experience more hardships from that art than those who choose to be hobbyists, but that's like any career. You really need to think about whether this is something you want to do for the rest of your life. You've got to accept the pitfalls of being a professional artist, and if you can, then welcome aboard. If you can't, no one's forcing you. You don't have to be a professional artist. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. It's a lot of you know, wondering whether you're going to eat that month, whether you're going to pay your rent, not being able to move up from your parents' homes in that case. And it's a difficult life because it's got such a stigma already attached to it. But I feel people using the term art block brings back a stigma of the whole starving artist and artists don't work hard and they shouldn't pay for things. But that is another topic for another time. So that being said, Thank you for listening to my video. I hope that this kind of got across my opinion on art block in general and also my, the opinion of art block from someone who suffers from mental health blocks. Um, yes, so if you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. If you haven't seen Bailey's video yet, go check it out, but I don't want anyone leaving any hate on it because her words are a lot more abrasive than mine. And you know what? Sometimes people need to hear that. Sometimes people don't. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!